Moving on to race number four and the fourth on the program is a class four. It's the 1650 again, headed by Total Powers. He drops in class, gets the blinkers on, goes up and trip. David Hall, Zach Purton, barrier four. Shadow Breaker, a winner two starts back over the 1800 metres. Big Bang Bong, a two time course and distance winner. Pretty Bohemia, a three time course and distance winner. He comes down in trip. Universal Goko, third to Murray's partners last time out, course and distance. All for St Paul's will roll from barrier five. Daily Beauty, just touched off by Winston's lad last time out. And Humble Steed off the inside gate. Uh, he's won twice this season, but up in class last time, only eighth to Lightning Steed. Joyful cheers. Uh, Tom is the horse that's been up at Chung in the last month. A couple of horses likely to go forward to here. A Shadow Breaker who's gone forward in his last couple of runs over 1,800 metres, dropping back to 1,650. The other is all for St Paul's, who was three wide, no cover last time out, and is trying Happy Valley for the first time. Big Bang Bong, he'll be just behind them uh, somewhere with Joyful Cheers, Humble Steed. Could be tougher in Canto Prepared and Ballistic King, Daily Beauty and Total Power to race together midfield. Here's Total Power. Now, he hasn't got the blinkers on here, but he will be wearing them on a race day. But he's a very fit horse. 1650, he has run over it before, but being by Dundee, you'd think uh, that would really suit this horse with these blinkers on, down in great. All for St Paul's, he's the one on the far side there. He's been going well. He's going to be on pace, so I think uh, his... A happy Valley should suit this horse. He has trialled there once before, and his trial was OK as well, so he goes nice in his work. You can see he's quite keen there. And in Canto Prepared, he's only a little chap in Canto Prepared, but he uh, he's quite keen in his work there. He just uh, had a little bit of a stumble, but he picked himself up nicely enough, so he's another one that's going well. Better effort from him last time out. Draw doesn't look as kind from this time round. Let's start off here with uh, Universal Gogo -Go and his jockey, Vincent Ho. Vincent Universal Gogo, -Go. he hasn't won for a while this horse, but the way that he performed last time out, is he finding form? Yeah, his form, you know, it has changed a bit. He used to have lots of early speed, but seems this season he, he lost that. Um, but, you know, he, at the last quarter, if, if you gave him a chance, he, he, you know, he ran home really well last time. So the way that he was running home last time out, is that the way to ride him if he hasn't got that early speed like he used to? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm not going to force him too much, but obviously he got good control this time, so you know, at least can be one or two position closer than last time, which uh, should help. Yeah. How's his work been? You've ridden him at his last couple of gallops? Yeah, his work's been fine. Uh, his, you know, uh, his fra freshness is uh, still here, you know, so hopefully he can win. Nice positive comments then from Vincent regarding Universal Gogo. -Go. Has one course and distance himself. Um, next horse we can have a look at here is Daily Beauty. Now he gets up from the 12 to the 1650, Paul. On this evidence, uh, you'd suggest that would be a positive. Yeah, it looks it, doesn't he? He got well back and he sort of weaved his way through the field there. And once he managed to get uh, to the front, it looked like he was almost going to win the race. Winston Land down the outside just dive bombed him late. But a good run from him. 1650 looks ideal. So. He's one of the major players for me. Yeah, he is. I like the way he took that gap to it, the 150, and charged on through, just beaten by a really well-rated Winston's land last time out. But, uh, look, I think he can go close here with the lightweight. OK, that's Daily Beauty. Joe Moreira will be in the saddle there. Total power. Now, he's the class dropper here, Tom. Blinkers on as well. He'll jump from barrier four with Zach Burton in the saddle. Yeah, I've been waiting for this horse to uh, get down and uh, do something. And here he is, top of class uh, four with Zach Burton on board. Blinkers first time. He came from the uh, last but made good ground out wider last time out. That was behind California Rad, who, of course, since has uh, won again. couple of trials. Zach was on board and one of them. Blake Shin was on board in this most recent one. Thought he got to the line quite nicely. So I, th I think he's a must pull. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to go with him, actually. He did wear those blinkers when he raced in Australia before he got here as well. All right, that's total power. Down in class, up in trip. Blinkers on, good gate. Eight and 3.7 at the moment. What do you like, though, Paul? Yeah, I'm going to go with him. I just think with those blinkers on, downgraded, Zach Purden, low barrier draw looks ideal. Daily Beauty, the danger. And Kando prepared will get back. He'll run on late. It was a good run from him last time. And all for St Paul's. I can see him going forward and leading for a long period of the race. One eleven ten nine. I went with the 11 on top. Uh, Daily Beauty liked him last time out at a decent price when he went round at 14 to 1, beating a nose. So we're going to go with him again. Daily Beauty over total power. Universal go go. And Cantor prepared. He's going to need a little bit of luck from gate 10. 11 1 7 10. That's the cue. That's what it looks like on paper anyway. Uh, 1 11 11 1. I went 11 1 in the end. But uh, good start to the, uh, or potentially for the six up there for six up players. That's race number four. Next up for us then, race set number five will be the first leg of the Triple Trio.